Hello, everyone. My name is Wan Chen Li, and I'm from Singapore. The topic of my lecture today is the aesthetic zone and soft tissue profile in young Asians. A common tool used in implant dentistry is the SAC assessment tool. It stands for straightforward, advanced, or complex, and is developed by the ITI for restorative and surgical implant cases. The tool is a step-by-step -step guide that helps clinicians to identify the degree of complexity and potential risk involved in implant dentistry cases. One of the components being assessed is the aesthetic risk. In the aesthetic risk assessment, some of the questions that they ask are the visibility of the treatment area upon smiling. In essence, what they are looking for and asking is the patient's smile line. Another question pertains to the display of the papilla or the gingiva. And lastly, they look at the gingival phenotype of the patients, be it thick, medium, or thin. This assessment tool is available for free online, and you can access to it easily by scanning the QR code located on the lower right corner. Therefore, we can subclassify the aesthetic risk assessment into two major categories. One, the aesthetic zone analysis, where we look at the small line, the posterior extension of the aesthetic zone, the papillae display, and the gingival display. And two, where we look at the soft tissue profile analysis. For that, we examine the gingival phenotype of the patient and also the width of the keratinized gingiva. In order to determine the population norms, we carried out a cross-sectional multi-center study in Singapore. We assessed 181 patients 